Hey guys, I'm Katie or KB Does Art, and today we're going to be making um, a pan, like a, a pan you would make to fry an egg or cook and other things like that. Um, I'm going to try and do it without a reference, so wish me luck. Um, go ahead and start a new scene and then just make a cylinder, and we're going to make this pretty big. Let's do like five radius and then make it like a one height. That should be good. And then um, next thing that we want to do is go ahead and take those top bases and then extrude and offset those guys in. And then I'm actually just going to drop them into the mesh. Don't go far so that you see the lines because you don't want to go through the bottom. Um, but you can go pretty far down. And then you can oh uh, press T to get that menu back. Um, and then you can just offset it in however much you kind of think it needs to go. Um, okay, so next thing I think that I want to do is bevel this inside edge. And then give it a pretty small fraction. There we go. Alright, and then let's go ahead and bevel that outside edge. Give it a pretty small fraction as well. Sweet. And then you can bevel um, that bottom edge, but you're going to give that a big fraction. So you can select that guy, control B, and then you can do two segments, but just make sure And then you can do two segments. Um, just make sure um, that your fraction is big enough so that it doesn't um, completely like round out to be um, a square uh, instead of like a cylinder. All right, sweet. So that's looking pretty good. That's just gonna be like our base of a pan. And then I think what I would like to do next is um, go ahead and we're going to extrude one of the, the faces that's going to be a handle. All right, so go ahead and select a face, extrude it, offset it in, probably just about like 0.1. Go ahead and click that face again, extrude it, click W, and then drag it out. So it should look like that. All right. And then next thing we probably want to do is... Um, Go ahead and bevel some of it. Go ahead and select the edges surrounding that and the edges surrounding the bottom of it. And then do control B for beveling. Go ahead and do two segments. Um, let's see. Let's see how it's going to round out. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, you can adjust your fraction to be big or small, depending on how round you want that handle to be. So I'm going to make like, like somewhere in the middle. That's probably good for me. And then I think what I want to do is go ahead and select these faces. Make sure you got them all. Click R and then scale them in like that so it's a bit more thin. All right, I'm going to select these faces and then just click W. And let's bring it out just a smidge. There we go. All right, and then I think what I want to do is, you know how some pants have that like circle at the end? Um, I want to go ahead and cut a circle through um, this object, basically. So go ahead and create a cylinder. Let's move it over here. Let's scale it in. Probably about like that. And then go ahead and position it so that it clips through this guy. You can rotate it so that it gets the correct rotation. And then just pick a place for it. I'm gonna make mine probably a smidge bigger. Probably like that. All right, so before we do that, we need to smooth out this pan. So do mesh, smooth, 
and let's give it two divisions. So there's a whole lot of polygons on it. And then select the pan, select the cylinder, and do mesh, booleans, and then difference option box. You want to make sure that you have normal selected and not edge. And then go ahead and click apply, and it'll cut right through the mesh to have a little circle. All right, so that basically concludes um, this tutorial of us making a pan. If you guys have any questions, let me know if there was something I missed or something I didn't clarify. Um, let me know in the comments below and I'll try and help you out. Um, but that's it for this tutorial. So um, stay tuned for whatever we're doing next week and I'll see you guys then. Bye guys.